Namaste, Varsha this side. And today we are going to talk about three different concepts in the Confusing Concept series. Okay, so the first topic is Astral Projection. Then we will be talking about Astral Travel. And then the last topic is Telepathy. Now what is Astral Projection? It's a term used in esotericism to describe an intentional out-of-body experience that assumes the existence of a soul called an astral body that is separate from the physical body and capable of traveling outside it throughout the universe. Now, a little bit about your astral body. It is believed, uh, I cannot claim because I have not practiced anything from this concept, you know, but I have read about this a lot that there is a silver cord attached to our physical body which goes through our ethereal, causal, mental bodies up to the astral body and this is the cord which is actually connected to the astral body which is keeping it strong and you know grounded and connected so that you don't you know keep floating all the time <laughs> in the universe okay so it is because of this cord you come back you go out of the body you travel and you come back okay so it has a very important function that way now Moving on to astral travel. Now, this is my personal experience. I feel that astral projection is a voluntary thing. You know, you are voluntarily doing it. There is an amount of, uh, I would say, willingness. You know, you are willing to do it. But in case of astral travel, it is not something which is based on willingness or, you know, you're not voluntarily doing it. It happens involuntarily. It's like, you know, when you are into lucid dreaming, because I'm into lucid dreaming since many years now. So almost every night I've been into lucid dreaming and I've been into astral travel, you know, going through various civilizations, Inca civilizations, Lemuria, Atlantis and so on. You know, and I do remember when I wake up that, OK, that was one important landscape or maybe some monument, you know, that sort but then I'm not doing it deliberately. I'm not doing it willingly. I'm not doing it voluntarily. You understand the difference? So astral projection is more of a voluntary thing. But when you are talking about astral travel, it just happens. You know, you don't even know about it. You're not realizing that you are doing it. Okay. So that's the difference. And now moving on to the next concept, which is telepathy. Now, telepathy uh, is a word which has been derived from Greek word. When you break it, tele and pathos. So tele means distant and pathos means feeling. So it's the purported vicarious transmission of information from one person to another using any known human sensory channels or physical interaction. Now, how can you practice this? Now, telepathy, I would say it is basically done to connect with a soulmate or your twin flame. Or uh, sometimes people do it to connect with a diseased person, you know, your crossed over loved one. But I would never recommend, recommend you to do that, you know, to not connect with your diseased loved one because uh, it should be done only when a person is trained in this, you know, somebody who's certified, somebody has done it for years because it is not safe to do, you know, these kind of things. But yes, if you want to connect with your lover, with your spouses who are not staying with you, maybe your soulmate, maybe your twin flame, it's a very good idea. You meditate for a few minutes, you come to a calm state of mind and you just keep repeating, you know, whatever you want from that person. Maybe you want a phone call. So you can just say that, uh, you know, like, Chetan, call me up. Chetan, call me up. Chetan, call me up. You know, like that. It's just an example. So you can do that. And then... It is so magical that the person who's at the receiving end, they actually start getting the messages, you know, through their body, through sensations, through, uh, through their dreams. Sometimes daydreaming, sometimes it's a thought which keeps popping up that, okay, I need to call up Varsha. Really? Okay, then he calls up, you know. So this is how telepathy works. Now, I remember an incident which I read on the internet about telepathy. Now, there was a working uh, lady Okay, so she took a vacation for some time because she was expecting her second child and she was cooking at home and her husband was not there with her. He has gone to the office and while she was cooking, she had a very severe chest pain and she just thought of her husband and she just said, Mark, I've got a chest pain. Mark, I've got a chest pain and three to four times she repeated and magically, you know, this 
man who was in his office sitting about 20 kilometers away he actually started you know getting panic he he just felt you know he was panicky he was like oh my god there's something wrong with my wife why i feel she's got something wrong with her chest and he immediately rushes and he sees that his wife was already on the floor she had collapsed and then she was rushed to the hospital so that's one example now second incident i uh, remember you know reading on internet again that uh, there was a woman who was uh, in her garden and she was you know planting some uh, trees some uh, plants you know and suddenly she gets a sharp pain in her heart and she collapses and then she was rushed to the hospital she was perfectly fine but the next day she gets a telegram that her son who was in the army and who was uh, you know posted at some war he had died because he got a bullet in his chest and he was sending those messages to his mom that mom i'm dying i've been hit by a bullet on my chest so see how telepathy works so that is like you know these are few examples of telepathy how telepathy works now i would actually like to pull your attention towards something very important astral projection is to be done only when you master it you know or probably please contact a trained person who is doing astral projection for years you know somebody who has mastered it you know maybe certified people but please don't do it it's not for fun it can be harmful because sometimes you know people they lose their lives sometimes when they you know try to come back to their body they are not able to do it they still keep floating so these are some dangerous things so please do not do you know psychic things or spiritual things without you know taking help from a trained professional okay i hope this video helps in giving you an idea that what is the difference between astral projection astral travel and telepathy thank you so much and as always if you have any questions you can you know without any hesitation you can drop a text or email me okay send an email and i'm always there to help you in some way thank you so much all my love to you